Hey guys on YouTube, today I'm going to explain before I do this, um, Plans for Zombies Gone Warfare trailer before I review it and all that stuff. You know, I'll explain to you why I'm going to do this type of video. So anyways, about, um, Finance of Freddy's, it's kind of boring right now and I really don't know what to say about that, about F and F. It kind of just annoys me that I had to kind of just... Keep uploading those images and stuff and get theories. And I, I don't know, this could be like a lot of theories I have to make. And I, I don't know. Plus, the Finest Freddy's game is okay. It's just that I get annoyed by everybody that makes the videos, but it's okay, anyways. Um, that's a lot to say, kind of. And I just get annoyed by it. I really don't like it that much anymore. Too, because it's kind of boring now. So that's why I don't even upload those type of videos. Because the game is kind of boring for me for now. So I can explain more. But not right now anyways. So let me just get into plans for Zombies Gotta Work For 2. Now the only reason I'm doing this video is because it's better than Fires to Freddy's. It has like better graphics and stuff. And you know. So let's just watch the trailer and then I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Since the dawn of time, plants have protected suburbia from the zombie. Well, I should have been Since the dawn of time, plants have protected suburbia from the zombies. But now the world has changed. Welcome to Zombia. Alright guys, that's the trailer, and I will also, um, I mean, also I'll show you the gameplay, but not yet, so let me see how much minutes it has been. Three minutes. So, the only reason why I'm doing this is because it's, it's better because it's like a shooting game, and Fights Freddy's, all you do is just close doors and save powers and stuff like that. Who wants to do that? We could just be playing Plants for Zombies Gotta Warfare 2 by, like, shooting people, you know? Who wants to play that type of game? Like, seriously. But anyways, I'm just kidding about that part. Well, not really, but I am kind of. Um, so let's review the trailer real quick. So zombies had taken over the suburbia for the plants. So this is kind of the first time that the plants has to actually get back their um base, you know. Welcome so then you see the place. And those weird plants that you see, they're they're supposed to be like the zombies from Plants vs. Zombies Gotta Warfare Part 1, so that's that's where these weird things are supposed to be. They look very weird to me. Like, you got a new class, which is the, the pirate dude. And you saw he's actually changing his dancing in You got a new plant, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's like a really cool And before that, um, football player got changed to that. There's po that's probably the new character that everybody's been waiting for. Just um super brains and quarnel, which is that um corn dude of course. 
in Super Brains is kind of a bad person. <laughs> This NPS has less health from all the zombies, and yeah, that's it. So, um, that's all I have to say about that. Is that he only he only has seventy five health? That and that kind of sucks. He doesn't even at least have a hundred, so you might as well be careful with your health if you're playing as this. We saw one of his abilities where he gets to spin around and keep shooting at plants. Like that. Now, if you pause the video, if you see that um, rock pea shooter where my white thing is at, I'm talking about that one. And I hope, I, I think that's going to be coming in the game. Because we never saw that in Planet of the Star Wars for part one. And it's also another planet, but I really don't know its name. So. It looks like an orange to me, so. But he's already an orange anyway, so. Like, knowing that. So he's allowed to use his own shield to block anything. And then he has another ability, which is just about to show right now. Which is where he gets his amp speed too. And he gets about the 400 health total. He's got a rocket for his um, robot suit and that um, machine gun you just saw before. That's kind of cool. So, yep, that's it's coming in spring 2016, and I definitely want to get it, but it kind of sucks. So, let me just answer a question if you're allowed to get it for the Xbox 360. The answer, now, I was really upset when they actually did this, but they said that there's nothing, There's it's not going to come on the Xbox 360. And now, the only reason why is probably just because of the graphics and stuff. I kind of understand that a bit, but still, they could at least did it for the Xbox 360, you know. That kind of sucks. Or could I at least, um, you know, added something like from Xbox One to switch to the Xbox 360 or something like that. But I don't know. So anyways, how much minutes has it been? Seven minutes. Um. So yeah, I am. I'm. I'm gonna see if I can get the game soon or not. But anyways, that's it for that part. Now let's go to the gameplay. And I'm probably not going to talk, so let me just try to break down what it's happening. So there's this V-Tech, and there's that Zombot. Um, if you have played the original Plants vs. Zombies game, the first part, you should remember this part. Except for that's kind of different, though. It's, I don't think it's used for any zombies to control it. And there's Engineer right there. And there's the plants growing. And let me stop you right there. And Plants and Zombies kind of warfare. There's the bucket head and, and the cone head and zombies. So they actually did the same thing with these too. So that's a cool thing about that. And wait, if you pause the video, you can see that orange dude that we just saw from the trailer. And that engineer died. So that's probably why you see him laying on the floor. That orange dude. And yep, they're checking. He's moving around too. Z tech that you just saw now. All right, this is actually a, I was actually selling this trailer. This amazed me a lot. So let me pause you right here. There's all the characters' name, zoologist or something like that. There's imp, there's super brains, and there's Captain Deadbeard. Um, they also well, I'll do some more videos on this, so I don't have to ruin a bunch of surprise because I did look on YouTube for some of these things. So now you get, now that's an awesome um, graveyard. But look, you see that thing right there? You get um, build robots now, like what you do in Plants and Zombies Garden Warfare Part 1. So yeah, that's kind of cool too. Now you get to do the same thing like you did in Part 1. Which is building plants and stuff. Or having them. That's pretty cool. And there's a tombstone health. So this must be the tombs. I really don't know. Like, oh, I think it's graveyard ops. Something like that. But yeah. Probably that mode that they're playing on right now. And you can see the imps, the abilities, so he's gonna use his first one, which is that grenade gravity. He pulls them all, those, um, 
throw some plants together. So I have some reading. In that shit that you saw from the trailer, that's you also already know about that, um, Billy. Now here comes the um, super brain. So what he does, he has the hero beam. Hero beam. Something like that. I don't know where you pull the pen out, but yeah, there is something like that. And he's doing his little tornado thing. Well, not tornado, but like, same thing. And you just saw him do that kick, which is that Billy right there. And you sure you know what that Billy is. Like everything like that. Always pay attention when I'm doing this or when I'm, or when I'm pointing at something. In um, Captain Deadbeard has a hundred health, and he kind of runs slow because of that thing he has on his arm, on his feet or leg. Like, See the impact in the so You saw it before that happened. Oh, I forgot that character's name, but he's from uh, Planet of Zombies 1 and 2. We never saw him in Planet of Zombies Gun Warfare, the part, um, which is the first part. The Giga Torch Void or something like that. I'm not sure what it just said. And there's another with those abilities. He's got about um, 400 health, like I said. And he can keep a lot of shoot rockets. And he, that RB building, if you see it right there where my white thing is at, he can actually like pick up his leg and then stomp the enemy that's right on the side. Like in front of him. So anyways, that white button is just to make you blast off from the game if you saw that white button. This game does look amazing. I'm sorry if I know you guys are talking so much of this. I'm just reviewing this so that, you know, some people do like this game. And they can know that I like the game too. Now in the comment section below, let me know if you want to see me act. Well, I'm not going to play it, but I'll show you some, some things I'm playing for time. It's going to work right now. Yeah. Let me know if you want to see my Xbox 360 or a game of Planet of Zombies Gotta Work for. Or something like that, you know. Because I'm not gonna do any FNAF videos anymore, so I'm just gonna do these type of videos. So Planet of Zombies Gotta Work for. It should be better than FNAF. And actually, I kind of find this game more funner than Planet of Zombies. And I'll do a video of comparing those two games. I'll play this one, I'm just gonna work her in FNAF. Why I think this game is better than FNAF. But, anyways, guys, I'm sorry if I'm getting you a little bit more matter by a second. So, yep, that's the gameplay. And I forgot to show you that Y button that he just used. Let's replay that part again. Self struck. So, he has that Y button opening. So, you press it and then you get the launch on that ding. Which is a zombie um, airship, I guess. So now he doesn't have to die with the plants. So, yep. Now, I'll be doing some more videos later on in the future about this. So, I'll talk about that later on in the future anyway. So, or I might even do it today. But, depending whatever I feel like anyways. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and comment. And, uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.